power of compound compound is power of compound interest compound interest compound interest compound interest you know about compounding earning interest on interest growth on growth exponential growth exponential growth is the reason most people are encouraged to invest it is responsible for some of the biggest fortunes today but why do so few people end up taking advantage of it and why do so many start so late why is it so hard compounding is not intuitive our brains are not wired to understand exponential growth. Our brains are wired for the near to medium term, to find food and fend off dangers. These are the short term concerns. It took over a thousand years for the human population to grow from a hundred million to 200 million. And the population doubled again in another thousand. A millennium to double the population means that for the average person, change is barely noticeable. As with the population, technology barely progressed over generations, let alone in one person's lifetime. It is 1969. The United States becomes the first and only country to land on the moon. If you told someone that in a few decades we'd have more computing power in the palm of our hands than what was used to put the first men on the moon, you'd be laughed at. Over the next 40 years, computing power and storage capacity grew at an astounding rate and moved from servicing niche research to mass market adoption driven by lower prices and new value propositions. To really grasp the idea of exponential growth and take it from something merely abstract to something more connected to the real world, here are three mind-blowing examples. If you fold a paper in half, every fold makes the resulting stack thicker. So I want you to think about how many folds it would take to get the thickness of the paper so large that it could reach the moon. To help you along, we can assume that the moon is 400,000 kilometers or 250,000 miles from the Earth. The thickness of a piece of paper can be assumed to be one thousandth of a centimeter. Pause the video and think of a number and write it down. You don't need to do the math, use your intuition. Okay, done? Here's the answer. How many folds does it take? 45. That's it, 45 folds. That's a number that first graders can count to. How close was your guess? With 17 folds, your paper would be as thick as the height of an 8 to 10 year old child. 8 folds later, you'd get as high as a skyscraper. Another 5 folds, and you'd be 20% higher than Mount Everest. If you're keeping count, you're at 30 folds now. Another 10 folds, and you can reach medium Earth orbit. You're at 40 folds now. And from there, you only need to fold the paper 5 more times to reach the moon. Here's another way to think about it. Take one step forward, take another. Keep going until you've taken 30 steps. 30 steps might be enough to take you from your bedroom to your next door neighbor's front door. But if instead you were to take one step and then double the number of steps every time, so two steps a second time and four the next and then eight steps and so on, by the 30th time, you'd go around the earth over 20 times. And you can even use compounding to think critically about business models. For example, in a typical MLM scam, the idea might be that you need to recruit five people, each of whom in turn will recruit five and so on. Well, if this went on, then in 14 to 15 cycles, your company would have recruited almost every man, woman and child on the planet. Okay, so compounding when it comes to growing your money is great, but there's a catch. And if you've been listening closely, you've probably figured out what it is. The truth is that the vast majority of the growth happens near the end. And the growth in the beginning is often imperceptibly and frustratingly slow. Here's an example. Let's say you have an investment that can double your money every year. Now I want to be clear that there are no investments that can reliably and consistently produce this sort of return over the long run. But I'm just going to use this example to illustrate the point that I'm going to make. You can double your money every year. So $1,000 investment will become $1 million in 10 years. Okay, so you're with me so far. But now here's the crazy thing. If it takes you 10 years to turn $1,000 into 1 million, how much money do you think you'd have by year 5? And here it is. By year 5, you'd have $32,000 or 3.2% of your final target of $1 million. 
That's right, you're halfway through time, but only at 3.2% the way. In year seven, you'd only have around 13% of your final amount. Another way to see this is that the final three years, years eight, nine, and 10, would be responsible for 87% of the gains. In the real world, we can observe this phenomenon with Warren Buffett's wealth. Warren Buffett needs no introduction. Currently, he's worth $120 billion, give or take a few billion. He's also 93 years old. Being a consistent investor since he was 11 years old and being in the game for over eight years has allowed him to amass this wealth. But what you may not know is that 99% of his $120 billion net worth was amassed since the age of 56. That's right, he was well into middle age when he became a billionaire and he made about $100 billion after being eligible for social security. So why am I telling you this? What is the point of all of this? The challenge is that we must hold two opposing truths in our mind at once. We must not miss the trees because of the forest or the forest because of the trees. Whatever your portfolio target is, for most of the way, it'll remain seemingly and frustratingly distant. People can and do get to 60 or 70% of the way and see very little progress, so they give up. But if you know about the nature of compounding, then you'll know not to quit. When it comes to investing, see beyond what you are wired to see. The second is that one must not put one's life on hold and wait for the future. If you invest regularly and consistently, your money will, in all likelihood, be there waiting for you in the future. Make sure to enjoy the ride. Enjoy the days when nothing significant seems to be happening. No new technological breakthroughs, no new market highs. Enjoy the stillness of it all. But in the stillness, something significant is happening and is happening every moment. Time is passing. You are living and breathing and thinking and feeling. You have the capacity for joy and fear and sorrow and wonder. All of it right now, at this very moment.